Derek Manson from the Sierra Madre Playhouse joins us live to convince us that Einstein was a dummy, which is a new play at the Sierra Madre Playhouse starting March 6th. Thanks for being here. Now, I I'm not buying it. Right. So no, it's, it, he was just one of the, one of the guys. It's an ironic major. title, right? This is a musical fantasy about a 12-year-old Albert Einstein preparing for his violin recital. It's kind of a fantasy. It's not really a period piece or a biography, but we basically have a composite of who Einstein was as a kid in our musical as a 12-year-old. Do you think he like was born with like the white fluffy hair? Right. <laughs> I'm picturing that right now. Possibly. It's all infants coming out. Yeah. Like I think he just lost combs over the course of his maturity from when you're adolescence. When thinking about relativity, you just can't keep track of everything, I think what right? people love about him most is that he was a true nonconformist. You know, there's all these ideas, these, there are all these uh, stories of him having like one set of clothes he liked to wear, right? Oh, yeah. and, and he, you know, he, he would always make jokes about how, how he lost his combs and things like that. And, you know, so what drew you to this play? I actually did this show in Atlanta, Georgia at the Alliance Theater for its world premiere in 2005. And now I'm directing it here at the Sierra Madre Playhouse with the original composer, Deborah Wicks LaPuma, who is also our musical director. And she and I have worked together on four of her musicals for young audiences, because this is a family musical for uh, So you for must have done a lot of research on Einstein. I'm a fan, and yeah, I, I, I've done a ton of personal I've, research. I've played young Einstein uh, as a 12-year-old in this show way back when, and also as a 25-year-old, so I seem to sort of, you know, I, I haven't quite aged yet into my older Einstein, but I've played <laughs> Einstein three times, so like one, once in Steve Martin, twice in Steve Martin's uh, play Picasso upon Agile and also in this one as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a blast. Yeah. Well, well, we have some of the performers yes, who are do. gonna do one of the numbers. Um, this is Einstein with his first girlfriend. Yes, and this is a dream sequence. Einstein is this awkward adolescent who has a crush on this uh, girl in his, uh, his string trio. Uh, Elsa, and this is the song he sort of dreams singing with her when he well, sees Well, we're her. gonna get out of the way and let, yeah. um, yeah. it's uh, Tyler Fromson, mm -hmm. who's playing Einstein, exactly. and we have uh, Andrea Arvaninian. Andrea, yes. <laughs> Andrea, yeah, yeah. and uh, here they are, so let's uh, let them perform. Forgive you? For what? For being the nicest, smartest, most beautiful girl in my world? You shine like the sun in the sky. Oh, Albert, you're a wonderful poet. And I didn't even know it. You're so strong, so elegant, and such an able dancer. All in the wrist, step in step, slide and twist As I dazzle you from afar I look in your eyes and, and it's not a surprise That I'm dancing with a star In your arms I can see lighting through eternity As we travel and spin in space Riding through the galaxy in a never Ending embrace. Oh, Albert, you are so smooth. I am cool, aren't I? As cool and comfortable as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Or? Or 20 degrees Celsius. You're cool as the night. You move sharp as the ice. Just one glance stops me where I start. And yet, darling, Yes, my darling. Yes, and yet yes. you still warm my heart. about I this play. Yeah. Lots more coming up for you in the next half hour. Chef Loretta Vigil is cooking up a tasty and healthy couscous side dish. Yum, I can't wait. And how do you explain to little kids how the tooth fairy can keep with all the loose teeth all over the place? Oh,